When I was a young girl, I used to hear about Sushmita Sen, Aishwarya Rai, Priyanka Chopra, who were all Miss Indias and they went ahead to become international queens. And I was so fascinated, but I was just so indecisive. Finally, I sat myself down one day and I told myself, if not now, then never. And then, when I was finally there, I was one of the Miss Indias. I cannot even describe that feeling in words. It felt simply amazing. Early morning shoots, late night call times and fittings, and our subcontest dates when we would dress up our best. Miss Shining Star happens to be my favorite since I won that title. And sports day, it happens to be my fondest memory. When we all were cheering for each other, we were motivating each other. Irrespective of which state we came from or who was winning, we were there for each other. And that was the day when I experienced sisterhood and friendship in its truest sense. When I entered the pageant, I realized that there's so much more to it than what meets the eye. It's not just about looking good, but it's about developing a strong sense of self. It's about building your character. It's about realizing your strengths and weaknesses and working on them. It's about becoming the best of who you are. I'm so grateful to the Miss India organization for giving me the opportunity to live my dream and also inspire so many young women across India. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to love and accept myself, for instilling in me so much confidence to the new batch of sisters joining this year. I just want to tell you all that you all are already the queens you want to be. Just channel your energy and positivity in the right direction and shine bright and inspire everyone around our country and across the globe. And never listen to anybody who says you cannot do it. If your conscience, if your internal voice says you can, then external noises don't matter.